Hi friends, I'm Anand Panjwai at Engineers Classes and today I'm going to talk about a common problem that every 6M pass out student will face which is about your final year topic. Final year topic of reject. Every student after 6 semester comes to me and they ask me Sir, what to select? I am interested in embedded system. So what are the scopes into embedded system? Sir, am I supposed to go for renewable sector or what? Sir, solar pe kaam karu or wind pe kaam karu? What are the different diversities that we have into it? Sir, am I supposed to go for converted topologies that is multi-level inverters, modular multi-level converters, DC types pe kaam karu, AC types pe kaam karu? So there are many topics that we have. Fine. And then a student is having a big mess in his mind what to do. So to help students, Ingenius is again coming with an amazing workshop in which we are going to cover many converters and certain mathematical modelings. In converters, we are going to deal with rectifier, chopper and inverter. And in this, we are going to have certain applications where in rectifier, we are going to deal with 12 pulse rectifier. It's uncontrolled uh, topology and controlled uh, topology. In chopper, we are going to deal with DC motor speed control, which is a closed loop speed control where you will be understanding how exactly we are tuning PI controller as well and here we will be dealing with chopper which is our converter and the next converter will be dealing with this inverter where in inverter we will be dealing with single phase three phase inverters and the latest topology that we have recent trends in inverter is multi-level inverters that also we are going to study into the workshop apart from this power converters we are going to deal with mathematical modeling of basic circuits Guys, we have studied step response of RL series circuit. Fine. So when I give such step to RL series circuit, I get certain amount of current over here and we get a graph of that current which is like this. Fine. Now I want to teach you in this particular workshop that if we model the entire thing into MATLAB simulation, you keep a resistor, you keep inductor, you give some DC source to it and whatever graph of current you are having, the same thing should come, the same graph of current should come if you model the same mathematics for this in MATLAB simulation. So how exactly the mathematical model of this we can implement into MATLAB, I will be teaching you all, fine, and we will be dealing with many more circuits regarding this as well. Then the most important topic that we will be covering over here in this particular workshop, which is a very new topic that we have never covered in previous workshop we have done into engineers, it is clocks and paths transformation. We have many, many applications based on active filters, based on say renewable sector, if you want to go for grid synchronization of any distributed energy resources, you go for any induction motor drives, where you have to use this clocks or paths transformation. It gives you the understanding of stationary reference frame and rotating reference frame and they are very very important for the controlling purpose. They make our controlling very easy. We are also going to learn how to measure active, reactive power and power factor. We will also be learning FFT tool for the harmonic analysis. So this workshop will not only give you the entire understanding of this topics but it will also generate a research aptitude and you will start thinking on a different directions. Many students of engineers classes have also published their IEEE research papers and I am sure this workshop will have, help you to think towards publishing a paper. So if you have any query you can definitely contact us and we are going to start this workshop from 18th of this month. So don't miss to enroll for this amazing workshop. Thank you so much.